and this one was really fast. I don't know if it had been tuned some way different or the governor's taken off of it, but it was really fast. It would not only accelerate fast, but it would go fast. So then there's the time back in the 1970s that I almost crashed the crash truck. I was stationed in the Marine Corps, I was stationed in Fatima, Okinawa, and uh, my job was to respond with the, the fire trucks, essentially, to the military airplanes that were having emergencies of different kinds. And this one particular truck that we had was called an MB-5, it was an Oshkosh truck, a little short, all-wheel drive, diesel motor in the back, big Detroit diesel in the back, and this one was really fast, I don't know if it had been tuned some way different or the governor's taken off of it, but it was really fast. It would not only accelerate fast, but it would go fast. The downside of this truck was that it uh, had a linkage issue, whereas if you mash down the accelerator too far, the, the, there was a connector on the linkage that would get hooked underneath the diamond plate or the hole where the throttle link, link, linkage went through the floorboard. Well, this one particular day we had a S2 tracker, Grumman S2 tracker, came in with some sort of emergency, I don't remember what it was, but he came in and the alarm went off and we went out the door and I got in that truck and I hammered it and literally put my foot to the floor and big as life that throttle stuck. And it actually, about the time I got, it, got the thing mashed down to the floor, it was doing full speed, it was about as fast as it would go, about 70 miles an hour and I'm coming up on this S2 tracker real fast, approaching it from the head, head on collision kind of a thing, and I'm on the floor, floor just kicking on this thing, slamming, trying, trying to get that linkage to break loose, and when it finally did, the airplane had stopped on the taxiway, but I was still coming, and I was still coming real fast. I was probably doing 40, 50 miles an hour, and I had to, right when the throttle finally released, and I had to lay under the brakes so hard that I locked up the tires and I left skid marks across the flight line. And it was kind of funny because the, the, there was a, the crew chief was an uh, enlisted guy that I knew and he had his head popped up through the uh, hatch on the top behind the, the, the pilots. It's kind of an escape hatch. And his freaking eyes were like this big. He thought I was going to hit that crash or hit their airplane. And then there was another time I was stationed in Yuma and they had a Phantom, F4 Phantom, down in the turnup of their area. And turnup area is, is an area where they park the airplanes after they've done some maintenance uh, and, or some engine changes or whatever. And it's kind of like a, tie, a, a dyno. They tie these things down, start up the engines, and then they run the engines up pretty high. Well, I don't know, I remember what the problem was with this thing either. But we rolled in on this, and this particular time I was driving a truck, I think it was called a Mormon Her Marmon Harrington, and it was an MB-1, which is a big, big truck. It had two fire pumps and fire pump engines in a compartment in the back of the truck, and they were the, these engines were big Chrysler Hemi engines that operated, that provided the power for the pumps that put out the foam on these things. So it, was, it was a big truck, and we're rolling in on this Phantom that had this emergency. Well. As we start to approach up, I start slowing down, I start downshifting a little bit and, and start riding the brakes, but by the time I got to, I don't know what the problem was, by the time I got to where I needed to stop, my foot was on the brake pedal and my foot was on the floor and the brakes weren't working and the truck wasn't stopping. And all I could kind of do was just kind of turn just a little bit, I had just enough momentum that when I stop the crash truck, it was stopped right in front of the jet. Had I kept going straight, I'd have hit the jet. But I turned just enough and the truck stopped and my guys jumped off with all the hose lines and dragged all the hose lines out and it looked just like we had it planned. That's what we were supposed to do. 